breakthrough. So one of the things Dan Sullivan has, and I'm going to share it with you, is he, it, he has these four C's, he calls it. They're like the four steps. I, I'm calling them steps to mastering a new capability. So, you know, as you're growing your business, as you're, you know, and I'm talking, you're talking to an entrepreneur who started her business without two nickels to rub together. I had to barter to get a website done because I didn't even have enough money to pay for a website. Um, I didn't have a client list. I didn't have graphic designers and web designers. I didn't have social media when I started the business. I mean, pay-per-click was just kind of coming on there and there's email um, there, you know, or websites, but nothing like what there is today. And, um, and, and so I started my business from nothing and I was a salesperson. I mean, that's, that was my, that was my profession. I knew how to sell stuff, period. I didn't know how to hire people, manage people. I didn't know about finances and contracts. I didn't know anything about markets and um, marketing automation and, you know, all the things that are required uh, when you're growing a business. And so over the time, you know, it's coming up on 20 years that I've been running my business and growing my business. What you do is you're constantly in this state of evolution. You're constantly in this state of construction, cleaning up messes, creating new messes. That's why the orange cone is like the symbol of my organization. And, you know, as I'm talking to you right now, right outside my door is a big ass orange cone. And that's to tell my family, don't interrupt me because I'm, you know, it's under construction. I'm, I'm at work. And so you, you have to go. And, and I think for entrepreneurs, the, the faster you can push through these iterations, these, these levels of mastery of new capabilities, the quicker you can push through this and, you know, fall forward fast, so to speak make mistakes and learn and turn it over, make a mistake and turn it like, you know, you hire somebody and you make a hiring mistake and you learn from that and you turn around and immediately hire somebody else. And you don't repeat the same mistake. You make five others, but you don't repeat the mistake you just made. You just found five new things not to do or things to do. And then you return around, and you do it again. And the faster you get that evolution going, the faster you can turn over these decisions, these actions, the faster you learn and the faster your company grows. But what I think happens is a lot of people get stalled and they don't do anything. They make a mistake or they're so afraid to make a mistake, they take no action whatsoever. And so Dan Sullivan has this these four C's. I'm going to share them with you. Um, and this really is how you grow. Like the first, the first thing that has to happen for you guys to leave today and get anything done and implemented is you got to make a commitment to a bigger future, a bigger goal. And by the way, P.S., I'm not selling anything today. So at the end of this presentation, I'm not whipping out an order form and saying, hey, go sign up here. So there, there's like no agenda here other than to give you some direction, some tools, some capabilities to um, go to the next level. But for any of that to happen, you got to make a commitment to a bigger future. You got to set a goal and you can't make a wish. You can't say, well, I wish I had better contracts and better customers and more profit. You have to make a commitment that you are going to see it through. You're going to do what it takes to get that goal. And it usually takes a lot more than we initially think. Um, I think being an entrepreneur requires a healthy dose of ignorance because we don't know <laughs> what we don't know sometimes. And that's a blessing because if we knew all the pain and angst we'd go through in reality, we might not do anything. So you got to make this commitment to that this is something I, I want to do, I will do, and I'm going to move towards it. So that's where it starts. Now, what people want is as soon as they make that goal, that commitment, they, they want to feel confident before they move forward, but that's not how it happens because you can't be confident when you're making a decision. Like, let's say you get, you went through today and you realized your pricing and your service offering is all out of whack and you're going to have to change your service offering and you're going to have to raise your prices. Okay. So if you say I'm making a commitment where I want to get that level of profitability that I need to get, and that's going to require going back to customers and having that conversation about raising prices or whatever it is, right? You make that commitment. You're never going to feel the confidence to do that. What the next stage is, is courage. And see, courage doesn't feel good. So you develop courage to act, even when you don't have all the answers, even when you don't know all the outcomes for sure. And so this is what stops people because they say, I want that they make this commitment, but then they say, 
you know, I'm waiting for the confidence to know I've got it nailed down and correct. And I want to cross all the T's and dot all the I's and make sure I can't, that nothing can go wrong. It's kind of like the same question they asked me, what campaign should I, what's the most important campaign? It's like, they want to know the right campaign because they don't want to pick the wrong campaign. And I understand that, but but that's not really how it happens. You have to make a commitment, then you have to have the courage to, to act and implement and move forward, even when you don't have all the answers. And through that process of making decisions and having the conversations and doing the things, through that action, you learn and you develop the capabilities to get the results you want. So you go talk to your first client and you say, hey, Mr. Mr. Prospect, Mr. Client, your break fix right now, we gotta move you to manage services. And you have that meeting and you screw it up royally and you fumble through it and you're awkward and you aren't prepared and they ask you a bunch of questions and you weren't prepared for the answers and you sit in your car and you're like, damn it, I should have said this, this, this. Or they said something, they came back and they they said something to you and you didn't know what to do, so you didn't do anything. And so now you're like, that. that is painful to go through, but that that's the courage part. It requires you to say, all right, what did I learn? So I gain new capabilities. So the next time I do this meeting, I can, I can be a little more prepared. I can have a little better conversation. I can do this more elegantly. I can think of these things I haven't thought about. And again, you're going to do it a second time and you're still going to screw it up. You're not going to get it perfect. And then you got to have the courage to do it again. And every time you do this, you're gaining more capabilities. If you're paying attention and debriefing and saying, okay, I just did this meeting. You know, what did, what did I do right? What did I screw up? And what am I going to do different next time? And every time you do it, you're going to gain more knowledge and capabilities. And eventually that's going to get you to where you feel confident. Because if you do it enough, if you, if you practice something enough and with sufficient frequency, not waiting for with big gaps in between, like three months in between client conversations, like you have a conversation with a client every day of the week for this week. You know, you start out on Monday. I promise you by Friday, you're going to have, if you've done five meetings, you're going to be better. You're going to learn things. You're going to know things. Um, the next meeting you go on, you're going to get better. 